Hi, this is not a very good hunting channel. Today I'm going to be taking out the final attack uh, from Beaver Tail for the first time. Uh, see how it goes. And it'll give me a chance to uh, start the break in procedure for the uh, new Mercury 2.5 horsepower that I got. So hopefully all goes well and uh, don't run into any issues out on the water. Um, I'll be starting out just on a small creek just so in case anything goes wrong I don't have to uh, worry about trying to get across a giant river with uh, just my paddle. Uh, so stick around and hopefully all goes well. <laughs> slide it down off the bed of the truck and wheel it over to the boat launch. Um, so this creek uh, goes for a couple kilometers anyways. I won't go too far before I turn around just in case anything goes wrong. I can drift back. I'm going upstream so if anything goes wrong I'll drift back down towards my truck. It's a fairly windy day. not too hot it's pretty early so it's nice there's barely anybody here it's Saturday uh, morning barely anybody at the boat launch so now obviously probably during duck season I don't know if I'd go here during duck season it's a very small creek and if there's any hunters already here well then I'll be crowding them but uh, let's go for a little cruise try to get at least an hour on the water in so I can uh, move on to the second stage of uh, breaking in the motor. I'll show you the, uh, the creek I'm on and uh, give you a view from the other end. Sitting down on a bench I made, just a 2 by 6 I don't know if you can really see it. I'm 
trying not to drop my phone. I'm trying to pay attention to any obstructions. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good in the water. And this makes driving really easy. There's lots of room in the boat when you're when you're driving up top like this. There's lots of room in the boat for all the uh, decoys and stuff. And uh, I might get a, I'll get a, a five gallon. That's a ten gallon. So it takes up a little bit more room, but I'll get a five gallon and uh, see what I can fit in there next time, just to, as a test run kind of thing. All right, we'll keep going and uh, see how it goes. basically be if I wanted to come back here to try duck hunting oh something just what's over there something just curled the curled the water over there I'll see if I can get it it looks like an otter from here that looks like an otter I don't see beavers jumping up like that filming and see if he's uh, going around still. RPMs as the three and a half, which is what a lot of people uh, switch over to the five horsepower carb. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get the full benefit out of it, but it's still going to be more powerful than what was on there. Um, not that I'm trying to win any races, but. Oh, 
either side. Or at least that's corn. And that might be soy from what I can see. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't look like corn. So yeah, so corn on one side, soy on the other. So maybe this might be a, a possible spot to uh, try for ducks and geese this, uh, this fall. If not, check someplace else. But this is a very nice, nice little drive. We're getting a little bit narrower up here. So I'm gonna focus more on driving than filming. So. I'm really kayaking, so Let's see how it goes. I'm basically, treading water. Uh, see if I can get these. Hard to kayak. That's right, it's hard to paddle with. Come on. It's hard to paddle with these uh, arms in the way. On this boat, it would 
probably much easier to move, but just because. Yeah, I'm pretty much on standstill. my weight so and yeah it is it is pretty oh it looks really nice up here too I wonder Narrows, and then maybe if I went to the shore. Okay, I'll try going to the side. Maybe the current. I think this is the end of the line. So you can see here, I mean, it's not super deep, but these weeds are covering up all those rocks. So I don't know, some of the rocks are, are pretty far, uh, far up, like they're pretty high up, sorry. And uh, yeah out through there underneath that tree that looks like pretty nice I'll check um, I'll check Google Maps because uh, yeah right now I'm maybe 80 yards from that bridge um, and I don't know how narrow and shallow it gets past that because I know on Google Maps it it does show that it gets narrower and narrower so with that I'm assuming it gets more shallow um, so I'm hung up here I don't know if I'm guessing my engine is holding or the motor is holding me in uh, well the foot of it anyways and uh, This might be as far as I get and then I'll have to go back and maybe run up and down once or twice and see how we do uh, on time okay um, well as I was cruising back I started looking uh, more at what would possibly be a good spot I mean in my limited knowledge of duck hunting so as I was cruising back, I found this bit of a bay that's kind of out of the, the current of the creek. Uh, you can see behind me there's a nice big tree that I, kind, I can kind of tuck in behind. Um, I'm fairly hidden. I mean, I didn't really do much of backing up into it, so I, if I put the marsh foot on my, uh, my Avery uh, push pole here, I could probably get back further into it uh, then on my left the tree will cover me even more um, but the nice thing is, is there's a bit of a bay on the other side as well down there there's a bit of a bay um, not as nice and calm as this one but I guess depending on the wind um, I could set up on either side of this ideally I'd be on this side in this bay uh, I already saw a couple ducks fly out of here. Um, not to say that guaranteed there's going to be ducks when I come out here to hunt. 
but at least it's a, a good sign. It's right across from a cornfield and behind me is the soybean. So hopefully, um, and it's fairly shallow, so my Texas rigs will be able to uh, sit on the bottom of this. And there's a hole in Anyway, um, so because it's shallow and it's very calm, it has a lot of that, whatever it is, in it. Um, so I don't know how that'll be for putting decoys, but uh, it's a place to start anyways, and it's pretty close to the camp. Like I said, it's about 25 minutes now, you know, um, I'd have to get out here fairly early to set up, but, oh well, if I, if I get out here late and there's not much action, I don't eat a lot of ducks, so even if I get one or two out of the course of the day, it's still fun to be out here. So, yeah, the nice thing is, is that it's really easy to access the boat launch. It's easy to launch your boat, or this boat anyways, and it's not too far of a ride. Actually, what I'm going to do now is I'll put back to the boat launch, and, um, well, I'll put a picture of where I'm sitting uh, on the screen uh, so you guys can get an idea of like overhead what it is but what I'll do is on my way back I'll time how long it takes me to get back there now obviously I'm going with the current so it's going to be you know a little bit easier but I won't uh, I won't be going too fast I just want to see what a rough estimate is that way I can plan to uh, to come out here and see how much time it takes me from getting to the boat launch to here to know what time to show up to be able to start setting up before uh, before dawn but again I have no idea what this area is like maybe they all sit here in the dawn and then I'm just scaring off a bunch of ducks I have no idea but we'll, uh, we'll try it out I, I don't see any built-up blinds anywhere uh, there were some on somebody's property I don't know it looked maybe more of like a hunting shack um, but there, there was one that was all just destroyed. So I don't know if that was used as a, a duck or goose hunting shack because it was closer to the, to the, uh, creek bed, um, or shore, sorry, uh, closer to the shore than the other place that looked more built up. Like it was actually like a tin, tin structure with a, a chimney coming out of it. So, uh, that seemed like it was a little bit too far away from the creek to be an effective um, duck blind but maybe that other one was and but it's fallen apart so I don't think whoever built that is still hunting out here so at least it uh, you know it's good scouting I can get here easy get up the creek easy there's no stumps or deadheads or you know fallen trees that I need to worry about to get to this spot and I saw a couple ducks so yeah well at least you at least there's that, so. But hopefully they're here come season. Anyway, take care. Hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. And uh, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this. Maybe I'll just throw it in midway through and then I don't have to say goodbye. Oh, well, otherwise I'll just throw it in at the end and I'll say goodbye then. And on a side note, there's a ton of hornets around here. I don't know why there would be so many hornets in the swamp or on a creek like they're everywhere on this stuff <laughs> mm -hmm.